Worry about your passion. Hey, fit check, make a bitch sweat. I got some Gucci on. I stay in my lane, on don't fuck with them. I don't know what you be on. Hot one, hot two, my blicky match my fit. I got on pink, so you know I brought them fit out of this bitch. I can't watch that. What it do, y'all? Okay, Kane. if you didn't know, then you are a. You a long ass hater. You a long ass hater and you hang too long. And in order for you not to not be considered, in order for you to not, in order for you to be considered someone who is not a hater, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment on this channel. Go to Instagram, follow me on there. Go to Facebook, follow and like my support page on there. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on. Go to TikTok, follow me on TikTok. Go to Twitter, follow me on Twitter. You ain't gotta follow me on Twitter. Yeah, just follow me on all the platforms and then you won't be considered a hater because I feel like it's not that hard to just, you know what I'm saying, go off the app that you be on all day and just type in my name in the little search bar and just follow me on them. Then like I'm not gonna make your day, I'm gonna make your day too, you feel me? It's a mutual agreement right here, you feel me? I make your day, you make my day, give me my way. Okay, now, it is day three in Chicago and I can say it's been real smooth. Like, it's not like, I, I do hear a lot of amber lamps. Like, I can tell Tito and TT them, they, they is dying down here, but um, I ain't seen them. The, the death is not in your face. This is how I know that the beef going on down here. It's been beef that's been going on down here. That ain't no, they ain't just around here popping randoms. I hope they not around here just popping randoms, bitch. Uh, anyways, I've been down here, you know what I'm saying, getting a lot of food reviews done. I got the Stalic Skillios, the, the, the something that start with a P. I reviewed one hair, so I'm gonna go knock out another one today, because I was supposed to do that yesterday, but I ended up going to the place to start with the P. I ended up doing, uh, what else I did? I did personal shifts. I did a personal shift. Um, to be honest, I, it's hard to keep up with what I'm doing. All I can do is keep vlogging and keep posting everything because I'm also trying to have fun too. But I've been thinking about extending my trip here for like two more days and just to get more work done down here, just to reach more places that I haven't reached, connect with more fans that I haven't been able to connect with. Today, I'm going to try to hit them all, you feel me, for my supporters and tell them what mall I'm going to be at. Yeah, I'm going to try to hit them all, you know what I'm saying, show a little love, get some pictures in with everybody they wanted to see me. So I already need a little outfit anyway, so you know what I'm saying, I gotta go to sex and give me some real nice to work, cause I probably hit the club tonight. Y'all know if I hit the club, I like to be dapper. Like I like to look, I like to be fresh as the most up in that bitch. I like to dress like it's first day of school. I don't give a fuck if I'm expelled or not. I still like to dress like it's the first day of school. Today, I'm gonna try to get a lot of stuff done, a lot of reviews done again. Like I'm gonna try to just keep knocking out these places. Even if I go to these places and I don't eat the whole meal, I wanna get that taste in. I wanna taste this food. And I want to see him review it for y'all. I want to get a lot of, like, I don't want to forget what I came for, which is to work. Now, I also really came for Skin Bone, his um, Bad to the Bone auditions. I hope I see a lot of y'all there. It's crazy how a lot of y'all keep hitting me up about it, like, hey, can, am I going to be able to try to leave with you? And no, you're not. This is called Bad to the Bone, Skin Bone. Now, I um, do have a show coming. It's in the works, you feel me? It's going to be called For the Love of K. Now, when we drop for the love of K, that's when y'all get y'all opportunity, you feel me, come showcase what you feel like you got to offer me, baby, you feel me, like, I don't know what's been going on lately, I guess I've been real eye candy lately, and I appreciate y'all feeling like I'm eye candy, because I remember when y'all counseled me on Twitter last year, y'all was like, I'm ugly as hell, y'all remember that when I had said, some bitches be studs because they ugly, like, I, and I was arguing with a bitch, and I said that, and they didn't want to go back and read the history as to why I was arguing with a bitch, so they just went ahead on the council, and I was like, you must be stud phobic, you homophobic, you disophobic, and I don't give a fuck, phobic. I am don't give a fuck, phobic, and I can't even lie, I don't give a fuck my shit, nothing. <laughs> but I see now, the world has turned around and said, you know what, that bitch kind of cute. I tried to tell you, I tried to fucking tell y'all I was not ugly, I was just like, bro, and as soon as I... Yo, stop playing with her. We figured this day started. I'm finna um, take me a shower. Y'all already know I'm finna fit check for y'all. I don't know what I'm wearing. I think my sister pulled something out for me and whatever she pulled out, let's fuck going on my body. Let's get it, let's go. Like school, 
before we get this day started. We about to go on here and knock a review out. Goodness gracious, my chain on. I can't wait to replace this bitch. Before we get this day started, we finna all... Uh, turn right onto North Turn this bitch. Okay. At the, God damn, I don't even know what the fuck I finna say. Before we get this day started, we're going to... We gonna knock this review out. I got this review to do at uh, Morrison Soul Food. Okay, yeah. And I, I, I want me some good soul food, actually. I feel like eating some good soul food. I ain't eat nothing this morning. I left an uh, empty spot in my stomach for this. Damn, I should roll up. I, I need to roll up. I should have rolled. She fucking me like she need me. I'm having a home from the east to the west of the coast. She said she can't wait to see me. She got down. She trying to fuck me on cam. Test what I did like I'm sound. She know this shit not a scam. These niggas bless on the ground. My diamonds hit like that. What it do, y'all? It's Kay, and I'm back with another review. And I know a lot of y'all probably like, damn, bitch, you ain't done with your Chicago reviews yet. No, bitch, y'all was rushing me, so I took my time. I be trying to tell y'all I'm not no motherfucking octopus, bitch. I ain't got that many arms. I can't do that many things at one time. How in the hell I'm supposed to edit and live my life? If y'all go subscribe to my YouTube channel, y'all will see how I be going. But to be honest, I got like four more reviews to drop for Chicago, so y'all gonna have to just like bell with a bit. Now, a lot of people was hitting me up trying to get me to come to their restaurant, so shout out to everybody that ended up connecting with me. I ain't know Chicago was this damn big, and I ain't know I had this much like love down here. I ain't know I had that many fans. Like this shit real especially when i went to the taste of chicago that's when i realized i was like okay maybe i should give me a little bodyguard or two or three or a goddamn team of them bitch. now shout out to morris and soul food for emailing me and actually connecting with my assistant so that i can pull up and come review their food i ain't gonna lie y'all i hit her with that pop-up because i ain't really give her no announcement i was just like boom i'm on the way popped up she wouldn't even know but to be honest y'all i feel like miss morrison was trying to dodge me she sent her sister Go, what where the fuck is miss morrison but i guess it's cool that she ain't pop up because you know what i'm saying her restaurant spoke for her i can tell it's like a family oriented business now this is one of them in your face ass restaurants right here bitch everything that's on the menu it's in your face i wanted a sample of everything but i didn't want to be no greedy double neck ass bitch but honestly i could have got me a little sample just one little tablespoon of everything but if you ask me i kept it quite simple with my plate i ain't i don't feel like i did too much all i got was a little i don't feel like i did too much i've been doing pilates and i can't nobody tell me shit to be honest i ain't took number two classes and i just feel like i'm bad down to the bone now bitch i might have did the most but i don't give a fuck i feel like i deserve to eat like a motherfucking queen a, a queen and a king, I deserve to eat like both of them. I'm talking about that baked chicken was good as fuck. See, I knew when I walked up in the restaurant that the shit was going to be good. Look at my chicken getting undressed like I got $4 for it. I like when my chicken act like a freak. Just drop your drawers. Bitch. And one thing about Chicago, I can't even lie. Y'all kind of do be hanging on each other. And I don't give a fuck because I'm missing too. Y'all was talking about some, uh-uh, don't go to Morris and Soul Food. We got better places. Baby, fuck you and the better. The damn baked chicken had my soul immediately. Then I was on cloud 47. I was just asking for shit. I said, you know what? Throw a short rib on that motherfucker too. Why the goddamn short rib? Bitch, everything was falling off the goddamn bottom. The goddamn this food, he was freaky as hell. Make me wonder what more to do what she said. The way my goddamn gap something down to that meat, y'all see how tender that motherfucker shit. I'm talking about good hair, didn't need no sauce or nothing. That shit'll make you wonder how more since I need to quit flirting, folks. I don't be knowing flow before we fucking married or not. Don't whoop my ass. I'm just a stud. I'm every woman. Don't whoop me. And I like the velocity of her cornbread. It was good as hell. It went too sweet. It was just, it was right in the you middle. You know the shit good when you roll your eyes a little bit. I forgot I was doing a food review. I was slamming the shit in their face. To be honest, when I eat in the restaurant, I like to make them think it's nasty. I'd be like, ugh, but that shit be good as hell. Now, y'all, I had me some barbecue rib tip too. I know y'all probably like, God damn, where the fuck the food be fitting? I think it go to my nose. I'm wrong here because I threw that whole rib tip in my mouth and I ate the bone. That's what you call greedy for. When you just sit up there and chew everything and eat the bone, that was just greedy. And I fuck with your green though. You had some good ass color shirt green, but god damn, it was too spicy. I ain't even have to put no goddamn, no goddamn hot sauce up in the shit. The shit was hot enough. I said, hold on. I was contemplating. I said, I'm gonna put that the fuck back down. It must be hooked back there making the goddamn green nigga heavy as fuck on the chili flakes. Now, if you done ever been to the restaurant before, I wanna know do they always snap like this. Cause I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. When y'all be tagging me and posting me and y'all go to the restaurant after me and it be nasty, I get mad a little bit. I wanna go back in there and slam the owner. Like, don't have me lying nobody, bitch. You probably hired a different cook. You probably had a different cook for when the fuck I can. You would think I ain't had no more space left. Shit, bitch. I said, oh, they got some dressing. Throw that dressing up in that bitch. I love dressing. And everybody can't make dressing. That's just the truth. Listen, you know the dressing gonna be good when it keeps the shape of the spoon, okay? If you can't scoop out your dressing and, and if it's if 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 the shit come out like soup, mm. they won't eat everybody dressing. My friend mama Mac is on like her dressing. I tried to lie and say it because they ain't had no cranberry sauce, right? They won't want to eat it. The bitch went in there and found some cranberry sauce. I said, God damn. I had to tell the truth. I said, baby, I don't like your dressing. Your dressing either too aggressive or it's too soggy. Sometimes it tastes like a cat. This, and sometimes the shit tastes like jello. I'm good on your dress. When y'all go, she got some Kool Aid too. Get the blue. The blue hit way harder than the green, but both of them slap. Next time I come back, I just want my own personal pan of dressing. I pr please. 
Uh, my own little personal opinion. Uh-huh. Fit check, fit check. So fresh, make your bitch sweat with all that. Somebody said, damn, you don't do fit checks no more? I don't feel like I have to. Y'all bitches know what the fuck it is. Y'all know what the fuck going on? Yeah. Y'all know what the fuck going on. I feel like a nigga on Snapchat right now. And I know a lot of people in Chicago never been to this spot before, but bitch, that ain't what it's about. Y'all always trying to tell me where the fuck to go when I go somewhere. Bitch, I can go to a place and try to put you the fuck on it. You ain't got to be every damn well. Bitch, come in on my post talking about some, I ain't never had no good ass food nowhere but the hood in Chicago. Bitch, because you ain't never left the motherfucking hood. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Y'all always compare me to other people. Bitch, compare your edges to your pockets. Empty ass bitch. I truly apologize for the disrespectful commercial break. Now, y'all go follow Morrison Soul Food on Instagram and go follow and like their support page on Facebook. If you ever in Chicago, you already know what that means. Bitch, you better stop that. Finally done with all my vlogs. So I'm finna drop all them bitches on YouTube right now. So make sure y'all go like, subscribe, and comment on my last video on YouTube. And comment on my last video on um, Instagram. And motherfucking share my last video on Facebook. That's how we gonna do it. I ain't asking for too much. Okay, y'all, we got a new guest. This is Felicia, this is Ty's sister. And we got Pound Cake in the cut. Yeah! Y'all already mm -hmm. met Pound Cake before. We meet, you meet him again. Uh, and we, we, at, uh, again. we on the show. We at Chicago Rodeo. Mm -hmm. The Chi-Town Rodeo, and we finna go and set. And spend some racks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know about no rain. <laughs> I ain't say that. Two the four pieces. Not the second one. What inside? Smile. Give me Give me Give me Give me Come, 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 come find. Y'all like it? Not this one. It was good to me. It was better than the last one, in my right. opinion. Maybe, maybe because I can't get it hot. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Okay, y'all. Today been kind of hectic. We went to um, the Taste of Chicago. It's like a little festival or event where everybody from Chicago come out there and get a taste of it because it'd be like a million food trucks out there, bitch. The lines was so fucking long that I feel like it wasn't enough trucks. The lines was too long. I was only able to get in the Harris line because one of my supporters ended up speaking to me. So I was like, baby, can I please get in front of you, baby? Can I please? I ain't even asked her to get in front of her. I ended up just letting her pay for my food for me. So I appreciate that support for that for sure. And um, it was a big packed event when I finally did get my food. I was not able to eat it until after like 15 minutes and it was so cold because I had so many supporters running up to me like, hey, can I get a picture, can I get a picture? And I ain't mad at you, feel me? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I started trying to eat the food and I had like a few people like, hey, let me get a picture right quick. And I'm like, I was like, let me get about five minutes, let me eat. And they were like, nah, let me just go get a picture. And I'm like, I know picture. Give me about 10 minutes. Okay. Give me 10 minutes. Come, 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 come find. You're gonna give me them five minutes, bitch. Cause I'm finna try to eat. The love is aggressive. And I like it though. Okay, I'm back at the B&B. Finna get ready cause we're going to skin bone. Hosting tonight. My boy got a hosting tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna be with Skip on like all day because we got a lot to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna be with him all day tomorrow. Um, but it's hosting because I'm gonna put this shit on for these hosts. Fuck I'm like not putting this shit on. Than a motherfucker. No, Stop playing. Fine, okay. Everybody fresh as the Where fuck. <laughs> she come out looking like a sunky. Huh? <laughs> okay, you like a great. Y'all look like fruit today. Everybody look like fruit. I'm the plate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they call me TikTok, baby. Okay, my, my first letter in my name is a K. First letter in your name is K. Yeah. Keep on trying no matter how hard it may be. You will get easier. Next letter. E. Enjoy life today, yesterday is gone, and tomorrow will never come. Why? You're all unique. All oh, God's person. No one can replace you, period. It's. Stop procrastinating. H. Hang on to your dream. O. Open your eyes and see everything around. You. N. Never give up and never give in. Never let a damn thing get you down. Okay, H. One more time. Hold on, baby. Okay, O, O. 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 Yeah. Only you can be you. Okay, one more O. O. Yeah. Open your eyes. Okay, now D. 
dick. Don't give up and don't give me and don't let a damn thing get you down, period. On my mama. Keep your head up and your back straight because a man or a woman cannot ride your back unless it's bent. And that's on my mama. Can't nobody ride my motherfucking back unless it's bent, bitch. And I ain't gonna let you do that. Yeah, hold on, let me see something. Appreciate you, player. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Tell y'all what's going on tonight. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. One thing about it, he ain't brought the motherfucking thing. And guess what? And, and another thing about it, bitch, and, and I would never know because I ain't motherfucking calling. Okay. I never know if a nigga blocked me because I ain't calling anyway. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Whatever. Whatever. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. I'm blowing the phone up. I don't give a Go fuck. ahead and free yourself. <laughs> if you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, fuck, fuck you. All these niggas out here. Oh, God. Yeah, I promise you. I'm blowing the phone. I'm going to cry for five minutes. That's Who it. Who are you blowing up? What that bitch said, I need is a new hairstyle that I babysit on. Bitch, all I need is a new pair of shoes. It's over. <laughs> Yeah, bitch, don't let me get no new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, let <laughs> DJ Art walk it out. Bitch, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the outside and outside, bitch. Come on, record label. She <laughs> gotta play duck, duck, goose. I'm a duck, duck, goose. <laughs> Up in this bitch. I'm gonna walk real slow. I'm gonna walk real slow, but then when I get up in there, I'm gonna let loose. Cause I gotta pee. Beyond Burger, it's like, it's real meat, but it's like, um, artificial. Oh, that's what you wanted. Yeah. What it do, y'all? It's Kay, and I'm back with another review, and I swear to God, bitch, this got to be the most toxic review ever. Oh, y'all, I got a pee. Wiener. Ooh. This bitch pound cake was all in the background singing. Somebody please get him the fuck away from Cam Michelle before he take a job. Y'all know I was in Chicago for five days. Bitch, you'll think I was there for two weeks the way my name still rings. Y'all, I heard about this little place called the Wiener Circle. And bitch, when I tell you, I did not know what I was getting myself into when I walked in there. This bitch. got to be the rudest, disrespectful, most respectful ass restaurant I ever been in. I'm talking about who fucking restaurant is this and who hired these two messy ass aunties? Y'all, they was cussing us out. Get them out and shake their ass out. So y'all twerk, twerk for a hot dog? My assistant, the lady had her so fucked up. I'm talking about blowing her head. Oh, it's a hot dog. You asked, Do we got Chicago hot dogs? And bitch, I it's said, I asked this in Chicago with a big ass Chicago hot dog. But at the end of the day, the lady went wrong. Bitch, why would you ask her do they got some Chicago style hot dogs and it's a big ass, fat ass Chicago hot dog on top of the damn sign? She should have cussed you out a little more. But well, y'all do not take it wrong if you go to this restaurant and they get to cussing you out, handling you out rude. Because that's just their thing, but they do handle your order respectfully. Okay, so I think I want to. <laughs> 
Yeah, y'all, I had pound cake with me. You might see that motherfucker with me more often because that bitch funny as hell. I had my sister and her sister too. Yup, bitch, pretty chocolate. Y'all ain't never seen shit like that before. Y'all, I love these ladies, but this one right here, y'all tell her to put me on the wall. I kept telling them, I was like, I want my picture on the wall. I deserve to have my picture on the wall. She was like, I ain't nobody putting your weak ass picture on the wall. I was like, <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna be real, y'all. I was so drunk, I made me three Caucasian friends and I hope I meet up with them again. I don't know what y'all doing this weekend, but if anybody know them, tell them I said they invited to the box. Y'all ain't even gotta bring no dish. Just bring yourself, bitch. We do not want no raisin cast. Pound cake been on this goddamn weight loss journey, bitch. Don't come around me getting no damn impossible burgers. I like that restaurant, bitch. We came and left drunken and three aunties after a funeral. Cause I don't know why the fuck after a funeral aunties like to get drunken and a bitch. Somebody just died. <laughs> <laughs> right. Y'all, when I tell y'all we had a time, bitch. I mean, a time was hell. Y'all, usually when I get drunk, I tell y'all to believe me for real. Cause when I get drunk, I tell the truth. Nothing but the truth. I don't give a fuck. But bitch, the way I murk this food, I don't know if I can believe in me. But if you ask me, my facial expressions tell it all, bitch. I think drunk or sober, I be telling the truth. I had order me a little hamburger, and I promise you, when you drunk, the best thing to eat is some wings or a burger. I was so goddamn drunk, I thought I was the assistant. But now, for real, my assistant ordered me a little burger and a hot dog, but I started off with the burger. I'm sober right now, and that burger still looks sexy as fuck to me. I probably would have murked it the same way. Bitch, I sunk my gap down into the backbone of that motherfucking burger. Bitch, I was mesmerizing over that burger. You can't tell me I don't know how Beyonce tastes. That taste, that burger right there, is the taste of Beyonce. And that's no disrespect to Sean Carter, but to be honest, you let um, Future say, and if my nigga wasn't Jigga, I'd still go after me. He'll have to see me about that lyric. I forgot to tell my sister she can't bring her sister back no more. Bitch, how I end up on the phone with your baby daddy? Get the fuck. I'm on the phone telling this man, hey, she with me, bro. You straight. She straight. The fuck. That man don't know me from a can of paint. And to be honest, if I find out my bitch with a stud, that's gonna make me even mad. He probably hung the fucking phone up and wrecked this car. But all jokes aside, that motherfucking burger was so good, I thought it was a crappy patty. Bitch, I ate the secret formula out that motherfucker. And then you'll think I'm through, but bitch, I had a hot dog. I'm talking about the way I ate that hot dog was just downright a trunk. You go to Chicago and you don't get no Chicago style. Hot dog, I hope they jump. I hope your ass wake up on 64th with a shirt on that says 63rd. I hope they get you. They got them hot dog gooder than a hot dog. This hot dog can get anything out of me. This hot dog can make me do anything except go straight. And yes, I ate every last bit of the hot dog. Don't get no idea. If one of y'all want to be wild and come up to me with your hot dog guy, I promise to God, I will put that bitch on the grill and give it to Simba. I promise. I was so goddamn drunk the air was good. I don't know what the fuck was going on in Chicago. And it might be a little dangerous. I heard a lot of police sirens, but bitch, they was never on the way to me, so I kept going. They was just up in there against shit. I don't know which one of them ordered the goddamn chili, but I tried it and I should have motherfucking slapped their ass across the head with the cook. That goddamn chili hotter than five white bitches at a beat. That chili was hotter than four white holes with a tan. I don't know what the fuck they put in that chili, but that shit was too fucking hot. Goddamn chili hotter than a white man named Brent. Like, goddamn, how much cayenne pepper did they put in the motherfucker? But all bullshit aside, I had so much fun in Chicago, and I want to make sure that y'all don't miss nothing. So if you want to see all the behind the scenes and what we was laughing at in the car, I'm finna drop literally probably like three videos today on YouTube, because I don't give a damn. But if you don't want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that's fine, baby. All you gotta do is follow me on Instagram and follow and like my support page on Facebook, and you will still see all my reviews. My YouTube just really like my personal page platform where my behind the scenes shit go on with like extra content be you know what i'm saying longer videos basically treat me like a show and put me on your tv screen see oh goddamn i need to quit putting my twitter up here because last time somebody gonna sit up there and ask me what you be doing on them other two twitters nothing i don't do nothing i just go watch stuff now nah, mind your fucking business because i ain't gonna tell you what i be watching the fuck nigga fake they some ass i'm sexy talk when i dance with the glock like a pass i step on his ass like some glass these niggas know i've been doing this shit on crib i swear to god it ain't new told the bitch after i hit this bitch you gotta do one other bitch out of